Hey, this is Laurent Lebec from Pelican, stage left guitar player, don't confuse me with the other guy, and uh, this is playthisriff.com. Uh, we're here at the Casbah in San Diego, been on tour for about uh, two weeks, and I'm here to talk about some of the gear that I really like using. Uh, I'm a big Marshall fan. Uh, that's kind of a cliche, I guess, for musicians, but one of the reasons I really like him is because we tune all the way down to B. So we tune standard, uh, so it's B, E, A, D, F sharp, B. So it's a standard scale, but it's all the way down to B. Um, and because of that, getting some of the mids to come out um, is really difficult. A lot of the tonalities get buried, and Marshalls are so honky and nice in that kind of upper mid section that they work really well for guitars that are down to me. Um, I have a 900, I really like it. Um, 800s are always cool too, uh, but I chanced upon this JMP um, after my friend Ryan from These Arms of Snakes recommended them and he said that what's really great about them, uh, this is a 74 JMP, uh, is that you have two inputs here so you can jump them and be able to use both, uh, both of the masters uh, for just the most loud, incredible, sort of point-to-point, -point, uh, awesome, rounded, really clear tone. It takes every distortion pedal uh, really nicely and it's super, super loud. I've actually never had it above one and a half or two on either of the masters, uh, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, so it's a great amp. Um, it's a uh, 74. Um, they're still findable, and uh, I really enjoy playing it. It gets super hot. Um, the transformer's pretty massive. We won't open it, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a beast. Uh, and one of the things that's great about these old amps is because they have so few components inside of them, uh, the tone is just it's really what there is. I mean, you plug into it and it takes every pedal um, really well. Um, it's not bogged down with lots of like little chips and things here that are going to make your tone sound a little more electronic and fizzy sounding. It's just really nice warm tube tone. 1500. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they, you know, they'll go for more if you, if you find them on eBay or if you trade them that way. I mean, your best bet is obviously to find one of these in a store because then they'll charge you less for it. You know, it's the same principle as when you find a really cool record at your local record store, they're going to charge you less than the guy who sells it on the computer and knows that a lot of people are going to want, you know, it's just a, if it's easy to find it, you'll pay more for it. If you have to do a little research yourself and uh, kind of get lucky with it, it's going to be cheaper.